Hi, yes, hello, welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday, but I gotta show you something before we get started. Say hi, Beans. Wait, how do I zoom in? Oh, there we go. Hey, Beans. You're looking thick today. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ashley. If you're a returner, you know who we both are and welcome back. I'm a millennial who likes to go back and watch your classics. We watch them together, I give you a preview for what I think it's gonna be about. We watch together, edit it, then I give you a review whether or not it's to the test of time. Now today is February 1st. If you're new around here, you may not know this, but um, whenever I watch movies, I like to give also like a millennial man Monday review about whether or not the main lead character male character could get it <laughs> and so far y'all thought it was hilarious that I said that Bill Murray could get it and instantly everybody named off all these other movies but you have been begging me to watch Groundhog Day ask and ye shall receive but you gotta wait if it's gonna be named after a holiday I gotta watch it either on or next to the holiday so today's movie is 1993 Groundhog Day you wanna know what's weird? It's like last week I watched Still Magnolia and Uncle Buck and they were both in 89. And then I watched Tombstone and Groundhog Day and they were both made in 93. Weird how that's working out. I didn't plan that. Now I know I said in February we're gonna have lovey-dovey some rom-coms, some, I mean, as far as I know this isn't gonna be a love story. It's gonna be between me and Bill Murray on camera. So let's start this preview review off about Groundhog Day. I don't know. Groundhog Day. Does it take place on February 2nd. I'm going to assume that Bill Murray is... Anyways, I don't know anything that happens in this movie. I mean, what do what what significance does Groundhog Day even have? Okay, I know it has Bill Murray. We've established that several times. I'm assuming it's taking place on Groundhog Day. Why? I mean, isn't it just a made-up holiday anyway? So why is it important? I know I've done it for a couple movies recently, so after this one I won't look up any more posters, but I really don't know anything other than Bill Murray and literally the title Groundhog Day. So I'm gonna look up a movie poster. Please don't hate me. And this is what I am looking at. There is a woman, so that's, so there's gonna be a love story. There's gonna be a love story. Hold on, there's fine print. Y'all know I can't read. He's having the day of his life over and over again. So, I'm gonna take Bill Murray being stuck in this clock and that little phrase on the picture to say that he relives, and I'm gonna assume that it's gonna, he's gonna be reliving Groundhog's Day over and over again, Groundhog Day. I don't know why I make it like ownership. But why? Why is he reliving it? Is it one of those things like he has to learn a lesson before he can get out of it? How does he get stuck? Like, why does he get stuck? And how does he get out of it? I can go ahead and answer you the question that you're dying to know already. Bill Murray could get it. Bill Murray from Groundhog Day could get it. All right, without further ado, let's turn on some of that cutie patootie Bill Murray and let's watch the 1993 Groundhog Day on this millennial movie, A Monday. Why does this song remind me of um, Home Alone when John Candy's like, ah, the Polka Kings, you know our hit song? Polka, Polka, Polka. <laughs> Warm weather tomorrow, gang wars, and some very overpriced real estate. Oh, is he a meteorologist? Very, very tall trees. Look at those old TVs. If the groundhog wakes and sees a shadow, we've got six more weeks of winter to look forward to. So keep your fingers crossed. Huh? I always get up confused. Up next, entertainment editor Diane Kingman looks at sex and violence in the movies. Oh. <laughs> That's a big turn. That was nice, Phil. <laughs> big trees. <laughs> so why does Bill Murray always play like just assholes? You haven't worked with her yet, have you? She's really nice. <laughs> I think... Me if I worked in television. You guys are gonna have fun. She's really pretty. I'm probably leaving TV Edge. Where are you going? I don't understand what's wrong with the Groundhog Festival. Was that the bad no, guy? Because I... he looks familiar and I don't know where he's from. Would you like some blood sausage? I have some here in the glove. I department. like blood sausage. Bug sausage? Blood sausage? I can't hear what they're saying. This is a good song. Ba -ba -ba -ba, I'm your weatherman. Just trust the weatherman. Oh, I enjoyed that song a lot more than I probably should have. Anything I can do. Would you help me with my pelvic tilt? <laughs> <laughs> He only had a 6 a.m. call time? That's... The sun's already up. Is he late for his story? Oh, no. Oh, well, here's the report. 
another two faucet sink. I thought that was Betty White for a second. Did you want to talk about the weather or were you just making chit chat? Wow, that's so mean. Why did he have to be so mean to her? Why do I like him so much when he is such an ass? That is so toxic of me. Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Can I have an example for that? Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. Right, right, right. <laughs> Mind who live and die by the actuarial tables and I, I love that jacket with the fur on it. That's so fun. <laughs> oh. Partying all night long, they sing songs till they get too cold and then they go sit by the fire and they get warm and then they come back. People in Pennsylvania don't really do that, right? Like, in that city, they don't really. They pull the little rat out, they talk to him, the rat oh, talks they not. back. That's nice. Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! 20 and 30 seconds, punks at Tawny Phil! The seer of- Who is that guy? He sounds really familiar. Uh, <laughs> the blizzard upside down sign. <laughs> Why didn't he put on a jacket? He's gonna freeze. Don't you have some kind of a line that you keep open for emergencies or for celebrities? Celebrities, please I'm stop. I'm a celebrity in an emergency. <laughs> Can you catch me when I couldn't find my hairbrush? <laughs> Am I gonna see a naked Bill Murray? <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I got you, babe. I love Sunny and Cher. What the hell? So everything is gonna be the same. Does anybody else realize that it's repeating or is it just him? Do you ever have deja vu, Mrs. Lancaster? I don't think so, but I could check with the kitchen. <laughs> no, that's okay. Thank you. Will you be checking out the oh, Phil Connors? I thought that was you, Miles. Okay, so I clearly nobody I... else is reliving the same day. Am I right or am I right? Or am I right? Am I right? Right, 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 right. Oh! <laughs> well, the first step's always the hardest. Watch out for that first step. Oh. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. I'll get that right by the end of this movie, I promise. <laughs> Pennsylvania! <laughs> well, what if there is no tomorrow? There wasn't one today. Are those the tranquilizers he had that he gave uh, Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters? Oh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Where's the pencil? Oh, it's gone. <gasps> it's in one piece. Okay, third time's the charm, though. Hey, hey, look. hey! That first step's always a doozy. I got it that time. More coffee, hun? Could he do anything that would drastically alter the future? I'm reliving the same day over and over. It's Groundhog Day. But you can't prove it right now because you haven't been in the diner before, so you don't know what's going to happen in here. I think we should meet again. How's tomorrow for you? Same as today, buddy. Drank pina coladas. At sunset, we made love like sea otters. Like sea otters? What would you do if you were stuck in one place? And every day was exactly the same, and nothing that you did mattered. I started a YouTube channel. You want to throw up here, you want to throw up in the car? I think both. <laughs> hey, who else could go for some flapjacks, right? Flapjacks? Pancakes. I think they want you to stop. Hang on. You're playing a risky game, because what if it stopped? What if it stopped going over and over again? Then you'd be in jail. You'd be screwed. Let me handle this. As you should. You're the one that did it. Cheeseburgers, two large fries, uh, two chocolate shakes, and one large Coke. Stop it. Flapjacks, can't forget pancakes. Will you hold my room for me, please? Oh I'm my god! Today. She said, I'll hold more than that for you, baby. Eh, eh. Phil Connors, Ned? Oh my god! He just punched the shit out of him! That first step's always a doozy, my brother. You know what? Honestly, that's probably what I would do, too. I would just eat a lot. That's impressive. What? That's impressive. <sighs> Unwept, unhonored, and unsung. Sir Walter Scott. Okay, since when does she become so philosophical? Well, would you like a doggy bag? No. Who says doggy bag? It's a to-go box. Lincoln in Pittsburgh. 
Who are you? Who was your 12th grade English teacher? What's his game? Nancy. Lincoln. Walsh. He's going to use all okay. this on her Thanks tomorrow as a hand. That's exactly what he's going to do. Good for you. Get you a boo. Get a different boo every day. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> her little clap. Oh, he. Oh. Jesus Christ. Nancy's crazy. Hell yes, Nancy. Get it. Oh, still. <laughs> oh, Rita. Rita? Rita, the producer? Oh, it's Nancy. Nancy. Whatever. Listen, hold on. Nancy was like all into a man that she did not remember knew one day and would like be open to saying yes to a marriage proposal? Like how drunk do you have to be? Okay, it's him and I don't get it. Why is this happening? I mean, honestly, if I'm reliving the same day over and over again, I would probably also create fake personas. Okay, so talk to me. Let me buy you a cup of coffee. Oh, he's really actually being nice to her for real. What I really want is someone like you. <laughs> oh, he just oh, admitted please. that. He admitted that out loud. Wine. Hello. Thanks for watching. <laughs> As I dismantle a van, thank you. The same. That's my favorite drink. Mine too. Is it because he actually likes her or is he just trying to get in her pants? That's a lot of beer. I think people place too much emphasis on their careers. That's so funny. Gosh. So every time he just messes up, he does it again. La fille qui j'aimerais, c'est à quand bon faire. Stop. Bon. Stop it right now. You speak French. Well. Oui. <laughs> good one. Oh, hey, there's a boy. That's a boy. Good try, son. Ooh. That's some good snowballs. <laughs> oh, that's smooth. That's smooth, Bill. Kiss, 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 please kiss, please, please, please. Kiss, please kiss, kiss. The song said kiss your lips, kiss them. I'm gonna punch somebody. That vest is an interesting choice on her. <gasps> the kiss, oh, I love it. Oh yes, the passion, the tension. I live for it. Maybe I should go. Uh. Where would you go? Back to her hotel. Phil, behave yourself. She said she she said no. Uh, I, I got some ice cream over on the windowsill. Ice cream on a Oh, outside. I thought he meant like in his room and I'm like, what what good does that do? I can't stay with you. Why not? I love you. Oh, Phil, that's too much. That's too far. Oh, that's creepy. This whole day has just been one long setup. No, it hasn't. And I yeah, it has. Fun. Multiple times. Oh, again? Oh no. Kiss her the first time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, kiss, yeah. come on. <laughs> now he sounds crazy. Ugh. Now it's weird. I never thought I would get this much enjoyment out of watching the same person slap Bill so many times. But you know what? That was fun to watch for me. You know, they hired somebody to make those. They hired somebody. That's on somebody's resume. This country's largest lake, Chapala, is uh, located near the city. R.I.B. Alex Trebek. R.I.P. Did I say R.I.B.? Thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Sounds like a religion I can get behind. Little hand in my. Oh. Oh no. Well, I mean, I'll be back there tomorrow. Wow. How many of those clocks did they have to buy to film this movie? He's gotta be stopped. And I have to stop him. Do not kill this groundhog. I don't know what you're about to do, but I swear to God, if you hurt Phil, he's gonna steal Phil. Oh my God. Oh my God. Think of a couple of reasons. Herbert. Oh my God. No. No. Why did his mind go there? That's not bad for a quadruped. <laughs> he's just so cute. The groundhog and Bill Murray. Gotta shoot. Aim high. I don't want to hit the ground. Good point. What? No. He's just gonna kill himself like that? He might be okay. <laughs> He's not okay. He lived. Put your little hand in mine. He really can't do anything he wants and he's gonna be fine. So what gets him out of this cycle? He's gonna... No. Stop. What an awful way to go. Well, you already really went out the worst way, so... Or one of the worst ways, I guess. Oh, what a way to go. Oh. 
Oh, Phil. Oh, baby, no. Oh my god! I'm sorry? What was that again? I'm a god. That doesn't really help with her whole spiel about your ego from a few days prior. I am an immortal. Special today is blueberry waffles. Ooh, those sound good. You're very generous. You're kind to strangers and children. Why do they put that man behind Bill Murray in a bright red hat? That is very distracting. You guys ready? We better get going if we're gonna stay ahead of the weather. I know who Larry is. I don't know his real name. He's the owner of the town in Shit's Creek. That's who he is. Roland Shit. That's his name in, in Shit's Creek. I mean, hey, he finally got her in bed. And maybe, if it's not too boring, we could do it again sometime. Tomorrow, probably. It's midnight. It's midnight. Oh, you rat. <laughs> I never said midnight. Oh, true. I promise I won't touch you. Much. Bill, no. And she won't remember it. And he's actually being sweet and genuine for once. You know what, honestly, if I was that pretty sleeping, I would want somebody to stare at me too, but I am not that pretty asleep. I wake up and drool and stuff, it's bad. But if I ever could, I swear I would love you for the rest of my life. Can you say something? No, nothing at all. Put your little hand in mine. What are those little gold things on his nightstand? Because at first, it kind of looked like butter. That you get at a restaurant, but why would there be butter on his nightstand? That doesn't make sense. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? I'm starting to get tired of this plot. How does he fix it? How does he get the girl? How does he fix it? Pennsylvania, poke. That guy doing this on the bed, so that, that's me. I could give you a thousand dollars. Absolutely. I kicked that little kid out and be like, get the fuck out. <laughs> it was a little kid. <laughs> I was just assuming that's so funny. Oh, you want to know something? That makes total sense to me. For some reason, I always pictured like ice sculptures to be done with a, a pick and a hammer. A chainsaw is way more efficient. Oh, it's Mr. Oh. Oh, I'm going to cry. I'm gonna cry, this is too much. I wanna see his chart, excuse me. Um, sir. <sighs> sir, you can't come in. You didn't tell me that this was gonna happen. <sighs> I'm trying so hard not to just sob right now. And you're probably thinking I'm, I'm being like overly emotional. You know what, I'll tell you a story about, a personal story about this after the review. You have never thanked me. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do that something. What can I do? 411? 411? What is 411? <sighs> That is my biggest fear, getting choked in public and someone having to do the Heimlich on me. Like, that is my biggest fear. That and breaking my kneecaps. Don't ask me why, I don't know. Okay. <gasps> he took his tip back. Why is his piano teacher clapping like this? Who claps like this? Actually, you know what, me now, it's kind of fun. Thank you. Why is the man in the background clapping like this? What did you do today? Oh, same old, same old. <laughs> That's a clever joke. Would you like the long version or the short one? Let's start with the short and go from there. 30! 35! 40! Nancy coming through! Oh, Larry, no. Larry, baby, you gonna get your feelings hurt. Wow! And it starts snowing while they're kissing. Oh, wait, did that fix it? Because it hasn't snowed before. <gasps> it fixed it. Okay, maybe it didn't. I don't know. That is a great sign. No, it's not. Don't, don't listen to <gasps> I said stay, so you stayed. Mm -hmm. I can't even make a call. You stay. <laughs> you dealing with a different kind of bitch. Sorry, that was inappropriate. I'm sorry. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> He fell asleep in his blue jeans? Let's live here. That's a little far, but okay. Oh! Let's talk about it!
Okay, first off, happy Groundhog Day tomorrow, but today, because we're here today. You could watch this tomorrow and it'd be Groundhog Day. You could watch it over and over again. You see what I did there? Anyways, what a cute little movie! I started to get a little annoyed. I started to get, because I was just like, how many times is this gonna go on? But then I really liked how it picked up from where he like messed up, you know, like where he wanted a different outcome, so then it picked up from there. So good! Was it just like he needed to learn how to be a good person? Was that just what reset? I thought there was going to be like a grand uh, thing that happened. Uh, well, now that I sit here and think about it, was it because he started doing all those nice things and, and helping people because he thought he was going to be stuck there forever so he went ahead and did it and then that's what made her fall in love with him? Like he wasn't doing it from a- that's exactly what it was Ashley. That's- that's exactly what it was. He started being nice for niceness sake, not to gain the affection or approval of her. That's exact- my face is red. I got hot. It's also nighttime and I've had like three white claws, so. Basic bitch. <clears throat> what a good movie! And here's my question. Why is Bill Murray constantly casts- casted? Cast? as like an asshole. He was snarky in Ghostbusters. He was snarky in Scrooge. But the- and now he's snarky here. But like in this movie in Scrooge, you know something happened to where he saw the light. Ghostbusters he was always kind of like an ass and he ended up by being an ass. Why is that his typecast? Does he ever play anything else? Like is he ever the good guy? Kind of like John Candy is always the- let me do like I did for Uncle Buck. Bill Murray movies. Okay so Bill Murray movies I have- I have Ghostbusters, Scrooge, Caddyshack, and this one. If I had to rank the Bill Murray movies, Cat- oh, Caddyshack was really really funny. So was Ghostbusters. So was this one. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is hard. And I guess I need to go back and say like in Caddyshack he was a smart ass but he was also like simple. You know like he wasn't a super smart ass. He was really sarcastic and like really simple in that movie. Oh my god. They're all so funny. Oh, I don't know if I can numerically rank these. If somebody sat me down and said, Ashley, we're having a Bill Murray marathon, but we can only watch the movies that we've seen, that you've seen on your channel. I would say, if I had to pick them, like, rapid fire, then I would say, all right, first we're gonna start off with Caddyshack, next we're gonna watch Groundhog Day, Ghostbusters, Scrooge. I think Groundhog Day and Ghostbusters are like tied. But if somebody sat me down and like gun to my head, that's dramatic and I should probably cut them out of my life if they held a gun to my head to pick Bill Murray movies. But if somebody was like, pick Bill Murray movies that you've seen that we have to rewatch right now. Caddyshack, Ghostbusters, and this one are interchangeable. And then Scrooge. Bill Murray could still get it in all of the movies so far. Bill Murray, if you're watching this, which I know you are. Anyways, thank you so much for watching another Millennial Movie Monday. Happy Groundhog Day. And so begins a month-long adventure of love, romance, comedy, drama. Happy Valentine's Day. That's coming up. Some more information about why I got so emotional with the homeless man scene. So stick around for that if you want to. Um, anyways, like, subscribe, stick around if you feel like it. Links to social media down below, my website, merch, all that jazz is down below. Thank you so much for watching this movie with me. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see you on Friday's upload. Highly requested, a classic love story. I'll see you on Friday. Okay, well if you're still here, that means you wanted to hear the homeless story. And, um, so I got really emotional because back when I was in college, um, I lived and worked at this church. That's a whole other story. But anyways, we would go to Memphis and we would volunteer at this place called Mana House. And it's, uh, it's a house that somebody bought. I think his name is Pete? Paul? I don't remember. Anyways, him and his partner bought it and opened it as like a homeless, um, rest stop. That's not what they would call it, but I don't know what else. It wasn't where, um, the homeless community could live. They opened it and like on Mondays, women could shower so women could come in take a shower get some fresh clothes shoes shirts in their sizes and like all the goods were donated by local like churches or just good samaritans just people dropping off stuff and then i think like thursdays were men's shower days and then it was just a place where like in the winter they could come in warm up get coffee um sugar packets and they would take volunteers which is what we went and did for a weekend um, we volunteered and it's really they had board games 
and you know you would go in and you would just get them coffee when they needed it, it and they have a backyard with like picnic tables where they would all hang out and then they actually partnered with uh, I can't remember the salon or barbershop but a local <clears throat> haircut in place that offered haircuts you know for free to the homeless people and it was so I'm gonna get emotional talking about it um it was so nice because it was my first experience with uh, the homeless community other than like you know you drop by in a big city and there might be a homeless person or you know whatever it was my first time really talking to people um in the homeless community and it was super eye-opening to me because i i you know i see homeless people depicted in movies on tv um, or I was always told, you know, to stay away because, you know, you could get mugged or, you know, and working at Manor House really opened my eyes that these people, sure, sometimes you get yourself into situations and it doesn't work out and things just keep not working out, you know, sure. But these are not, for the majority of it, they're not bad people. And I got really emotional because there was a man and his name was Leroy. And he could whoop anybody's ass at Scrabble. And I'm a bad speller, okay? But like he was beating this other guy who was getting his masters in English, so like dude knew how to spell. And Leroy was whooping his ass. And anyways, I'm gonna cry. Um one winter on Manna House's Facebook page. So so because they couldn't let the homeless people live there, they were only open from like I can't remember, but from like ten AM to five PM, right? Um you, they couldn't live there because that would be classified as something else. A lot of legality, something of that nature, you know. So the homeless community at closing time would have to disperse. They would have to go back to wherever they existed. And um, Leroy, who was really good at Scrabble. Oh, <laughs> this makes me so sad. Um, <clears throat> was found frozen to death under a bridge. And he was such a good guy and I don't know I don't know his past I don't know how he became I don't know how he got into the situation that he was in but anyways it clearly messes with me today when I think about it and um <clears throat> so anyways when I saw Phil <laughs> helping the homeless man and you know in the alley and dying in the hospital it's just it made me think of Leroy and it made me think of Amanda. It made me think of all the people that I went and <sighs> hung out with and they don't have anybody. Anyways, so that's a really sad note to end this on. But anyways, that's why I got emotional. Um, ah, <laughs> shit. I didn't mean to leave this on a sad note. Wow, you're pretty loud. Why you open your mouth when I pet you like that, huh? Look at her. Oh, goodness. Oh, she loved that. Hey, pretty girl. What do? Oh, look. <laughs> Y'all told me what that was. Okay, don't bite for real. Okay, I'll stop. Don't buy for real, that's weird. Don't be mean. Pe people are watching you right now. Don't be mean. Alright, you gonna stick around for a while? I hope so. Beans, I think some of those say do not bend. So I'm gonna need you to not lay on them. Here's one that says do not bend. Here. That's the only one I know for sure that says don't bend. Okay? You're fat. You're chunky. You might bend them. You don't mean to. My sweet girl. I'm already cold again. You want out? That was quick. You still got a couple hours before I feed you dinner beans. So don't get out there and start yelling. Okay. I'll be in here if you need anything. Bye. I love you. Bye. Move. I'm not going to leave it cracked for you. It's not dinner time. Go. Okay. Hello? Maybe I left you a drink by the door. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, thanks. I feel like a little...
little gremlin. In your office. I feel like a little gremlin. I feel like I'm living in the attic and you bring me snacks. Well, you're a cute gremlin. Aw, oh, thanks. I love you, Hubbin. I love you, Hubbin.